Hey everyone, Kaching here. I just want to spend a couple minutes to talk about how to embed videos that you upload to your Fusion 360 account in a in a forum post. And um, yeah, I just want to walk through that process because I'm not sure if everyone is aware that you can do this, which is a pretty pretty cool uh, pretty cool thing to do. So. It, what you see here is my Fusion 360 account, and uh, in the data panel is one of our projects. It's called Sketch Videos. So we essentially uploaded four small videos to this project, and you can just click the upload button and drag and drop the video, and then click upload, and they should be uploaded to your account. Now, uh, you all do know that when you right click on a uh, item in the data panel, you can get a share public link. This will give you a unique URL and allow um, whoever opens this URL to download or um, put in a password that you set. So if we copy this URL and we go to a web browser, go to a new tab and paste it, this video shows up and it shows up in its own player. It allows you to download, tells you the size, and uh, you can play the video. So what if you wanted to embed this video in a forum post with iframes? So there is a way to do that, and uh, you do it by going to the project page. So let's go back to Fusion, click out of it, and if you click on the little triangle there, this will take you to the project page. And this essentially is the same as going to myhub, Dot autodesk360.com, signing in with the same account, and then going to the project. Uh, so you can access it via the web browser by going it, going to that URL and then signing in and then finding the project. Or you can access this page from the triangle if you're already logged into Fusion 360. So let's go back to the page and you can see the, the videos are here. and um, I want to share, I want to now get the embed code for one of these videos. So what I'm going to do is, let's just say, I'm going to go to the, the last one down here, if you're in 360 arc chain, I'm going to click on it, and this will open the, the item details page, and right at the, the top right corner here, you notice there's, this, there's a button called share, and if I click the drop down, it's going to, to let me choose share item or stop sharing. I'm going to click share item. And this is, a, this is a little more expanded version of the share public link feature you get in Fusion 360. So you, get, you still get a public link, you still get the ability to allow view, viewers to download the item or a set a password, but now you can also email to certain people um, this video as a URL, or you can get the embed code by clicking on embed. So now you have three preset sizes um, to choose from. You can probably also uh, set your own since the code itself is just an iframe code with HTML and you can set your own width and height within the code and all you have to do is copy. We're gonna copy that code and then now say if you wanted to embed this in a forum you can go to our forum right uh, here is something that I preloaded it's just a new message that I'm about to create and in the forum body, uh, hover over to HTML, and right underneath the text that you want uh, you want to put the video in, just paste the code, and then click preview. And now this should generate a preview. Uh, this is telling me I need a subject. So I didn't put a subject. So let's just say um, how to embed a video from a 360. So let's hit preview again. It's going to generate a preview. And then notice now that video is embedded in the post. Um, and you can play, you can go full screen, and, uh, and you can watch it right away. So, and then if you go back to rich text, it's not going to appear, but you'll notice this very small dot there. Uh, so just remember not to delete that dot. <laughs> uh, I, I, I tend to go back and forth between HTML and preview and rich text while I'm writing a post. And sometimes it's just good to see you know, what, what it is it in actual code, what does it look like as a preview, and, uh, and yeah, and that's how you would embed the videos. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that was useful for you guys. I think this is, this is useful for anyone who 
wants to share any videos they have, um, to get any feedback on, on work that they've done. And uh, in, terms of, in terms of a screen recording tool, if you don't have any kind of screen recording tool, we actually provide one called Screencast. And uh, you can go to screencast.autodesk.com and download the plugin. This will work perfectly with Fusion 360. And uh, what this will allow you to do is record your screen, record the steps that you're doing in Fusion 360, uh, and also record your voice. Um, so if we, just for a really short uh, demo here. If we go to Fusion, once, you, once you've once um, you completed your recording, it'll upload to the Screencast server and it'll tell you, it'll give you an email uh, notification that it's complete and um, you can also embed these in the forum as well. So these also have their own embed code. So not only can you embed A360 videos that you upload, you can also embed Screencast videos. So for example, this is a screencast video I made in a, a while ago. And notice at the right side here, there's an embed button. Again, iframe, width, height, just paste it in the HTML section, and you're good to go. So a couple ways of embedding videos. And uh, again, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, be glad to help. Great, thanks.